How you doing guys? Today we're going to do a quick video about the bits and pieces I picked up at the Wheel Horse Show. Um, I went down cash heavy, um, but came back with basically very little, um, which is probably a good thing because with the senior project coming up, I'm going to need a little extra disposable income if you want to call it that. Uh, so let's go, let's jump right in and see what we got. Um, I bought another GT14 intake. Um, this is all I got was the intake and the, and the, and the, and the bracket. I didn't um it didn't come with anything else i paid like 15 bucks for it which i didn't think was that bad i mean i paid a fortune for the one that's on the 57 but that one was complete and um was in real nice shape but i mean that that was just a different animal uh the next thing is no matter what engine i run on an rj if it's a clinton or a kohler i always swap to the kohler carburetor the carter n um and specifically these earlier models with the domed uh, bowls. So I got this kind of crappy bowl, uh, but it's, it's not corroded on the inside, which is a plus. And I got this used uh, float. These domed floats are getting a little bit harder to find. Obviously nobody reproduces them. Um, but I, for the two of them, I paid 10 bucks. So five bucks a piece, I thought that was reasonable. Um, so we got that. One of my Fairbanks on my Kohler engines decided to poop the bed. The spring actually broke. So I was able to locate this spring for it. Even though it's a Clinton, it's the same part number. Um, brand new. It's obviously still in the package. Let's see if we can get this thing to slide out a little bit with one hand. There it is. So it's all set to go. I paid five bucks for that. So that'll get that recoil up and running. Um, as you know in one of my prior videos, if you watch regularly, I have this shower cap muffler. I wanted to restore it because I want to use it on one of my tractors. Basically all I need is the back piece, this piece right here, because um, the top is shot. Um, I started working on it, but I will have a video on how, to, how I separate the top from the back, so that way we can save the back. Obviously the baffle system is all shot. It's got rust in there, so we're gonna get rid of that. But you need to have, or what I like to use is actually a Kohler muffler, a later model Kohler muffler. And if we look at the tops, they're pretty much identical. So I'm gonna separate the top from the body. We're gonna take the internal baffle system out and swap it over to the, swap it over to the domed back. So that way I could have a mint shower cap muffler. Um, it's a little process, but these, these things get pretty Pretty expensive, even used. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna do that so that way we can make a cheap muffler because we only paid eight dollars for this bad boy. And I got this off a motor that I paid twenty dollars for and then sold the motor for fifteen without the muffler. So five and eight, you do the math, that's pretty cheap. A little bit of time and we'll have a real nice muffler that I'll send out, have it coated. All right, let's go out to the shed and see what other junk I found. So as you can tell, I have a issue with Clinton engines. Uh, for some reason, I can never pass them by. And at the Wheel Horse Show, it was the exact same problem. I picked up these two Clinton 498s. Now, a 498 motor is exactly the same as a B1290. Uh, the 498 was just a, a later, it was a model number change for some reason, Clinton decided to change the, the numbering system at some point. I think it was like the late 60s, maybe the early 70s that they did that. I don't know exactly, but they swapped from the 1200 uh, numbers to the 498. So these are both 1200 series 498s. They both came off of a zoo uh, mower, but they both are complete uh, from the carburetors to the recoils. They're Clinton recoils. They're not, um, you can't see it, sorry. Uh, they're not like Fairbanks or anything like that. This one here, the exhaust ports are obviously in pretty good shape. The piping has been taken out of them, so that's a plus. Um, the oils, oil looks dirty. I cranked them over, you know, pulled on them. They both have good compression, so I would consider these pretty good motors. I didn't pay a whole lot for them. I paid 50 bucks a piece. Uh, for the motors, which is cheap because where I'm located, these Clinton engines are getting harder and harder to find. Uh, go to tractor shows, you may only see one or two of them. 
if that. Uh, most tractor shows there's no Clinton engines for sale, and they're all in the eighty to a hundred dollars a piece range. You go down to PA, and these things just pop up out of the ground whenever they can, uh, or whenever whenever you look. So. I jumped on them, I brought them home. Um, whether or not I use them for a project, who knows? I mean, obviously I have lots of Clinton engines sitting around here. Um, I even got, there's even another one back there. Um, so, but that's that. So I got those two engines, I thought that was a good deal. The next thing I got is I got a seat for the, like the 857 style tractors. Um, this one is in a little bit of tough shape. I mean, we got a couple rips here and there. The top of it's ripped open, so or not ripped open, but the the vinyl separated. So I got to fix that. Oh, uh, the the steel. Which side is it? I think it's this side. Yeah, the steel, the weld came apart, so I'll have to press that together and just re-weld it. Um, but I, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that seat. Um, I don't know if I'm going to actually put it on the 857, the little mule. I don't know if I'm going to swap out. The, this seat got recovered for me, and it's freaking perfect. And I paid, basically, I, the guy did it for free for me. Um, it's perfect. I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to just do I don't know if I want to beat the hell out of it by just riding this tractor. So I might swap this older seat on it just because it looks older and save the other seat. But, um... I just, I just don't know. Paid 60 bucks for it. I thought that was a good deal. A lot of those seats in that condition are running, you know, 60 to to $100. There was a couple of seats there were a little better condition, meaning they, they didn't have this or like the separation at the top. And they're $150. So at 60 bucks, I said, you know what? I'm going to throw the dice on it. All right, guys, that is what we picked up at the Wheel Horse Show. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. Got to pick up these parts when you got them, when, when, they, when they pop up available. Oh, I'm sorry. Hang on. I forgot all about these. 953 rims, front wheels of a 953. Those were a freebie. I got those for free with the caps. Um, I think I'm going to put these on my dump trailer because the dump trailer wheels are all rotted. So I think I'm going to swap the dump trailer wheels for the 953 wheels. And then the other thing I got is these, which are just a set of wheel horse rims. I was going to, I paid, I paid $30. I paid 30 bucks for these, um, 15 bucks a piece, obviously. I got the other one on the other side, but I was going to put those on the dump trailer. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I might sell these. I just think the 850, the 953 wheels look kind of cool with the caps. So those are going to go on my dump trailer. All right, now that is it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the, the video. I uh, got some good deals, I think. I'm happy with them, so I guess that's all that matters. And you have a very nice day.